Good morning. Good morning, my friends and family. Y'all come on in. Come on in, y'all. Darius, good morning, Deontay, y'all come on in, like and share, Charlene Jones, good morning, good morning, Lydia, hey Lydia, I see you made it boo, <laughs> Sharetta, good morning my friend, Good morning. Y'all come on in. Please like and share. Good morning, Monica. Gail. Please like and share. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know, Darius. <laughs> yes, I, I had a great weekend. It just seems like it's never long enough. But, you know. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God that he has given us another day to experience his goodness and his grace and his love and his joy and his peace and all of that. Rita DeVito. Yes, thank you, ma'am. It's supposed to rain here. Um, it's not raining now, though. Please like and share. Y'all, come on in. Yes, we are here. Baby, that's enough to, to, to just lift your hands and, and give God glory. We are here. Thank you so much for the hearts. And thank you for the tags, Darius. Thank you. You know, life can, can be, um, it can be very challenging sometimes. And sometimes it's, it's, sometimes it's hard. But you know what? We're going to go on through, baby. We got a God that sits high and looks low. And we just going to go on, baby. I will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. You hear me? I will live in my spirit. I will live in my mind. Come on, somebody. And not die. I talked about last week. Don't die in the valley, baby. Go through. Good morning, Rhonda. You just go on through. El Michelle, good morning, boo. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Good morning, Tasha. That's right. You've got to declare that. You've got to declare that, Davida. I will live. And it's, I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about I will not just, just exist. I will not just exist, but I will thrive. I will live. You, you've got to get that thing for yourself. You can't depend on other people for your happiness. Come on, somebody. God has given it to you. You've got to build yourself up on your most holy faith. Mm -mm. Don't, don't give nobody that much power. Don't, no, it is nobody's responsibility to make you happy and to walk around on eggshells because you have issues. Who am I talking to? It is not anybody's responsibility to walk around on eggshells because of your triggers. Get yourself together. You've got to declare and decree that I will live. I will press. I will press. And I will be all that God has called me to be. No matter what. No matter what. I am going to press. And I'm going to be all that God has called me to be. Come on, somebody. You've got to declare that. Every day. 
Because the enemy, he, 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 he drops stumbling blocks in our way. But you've got to make up in your mind, baby, that you're going to press no matter what. Come on. It's a must. You have to. You've got to make up in your mind that I'm not going to let this situation get me down. Come on. I'm not going to allow this situation to overtake me. I'm not going to get caught up in the waves. But I'm going to remember who controls the waves. Come on, somebody. I'm not going to get caught up in the waves of life. But I'm going to keep my eyes on the one who controls the waves. And his name is Jesus. Come on, somebody. Mm -mm. I'm going through. I'm going through. I don't care what the rest of the world decides to do. I made up my mind. And I ain't going to turn around. Walking with my Jesus and I. I got to go through. Y'all remember that? I'm going through. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going through. I don't care what the rest of the world decides to do. I made up my mind. And I ain't going to turn around. Walking with my Jesus and I. I got to go through. I'm going through. I'm going through. Oh, I don't care what the rest of the world decides to do. I made up my mind, Darius. And I ain't going to turn around. Walking with my Jesus. And I got to go through. Yes, sir. Yes. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's mm. planted by the waters. And I shall not be moved. Yes, sir. King Jesus is my captain. I shall not be moved. Life with him is everlasting. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. And I uh, shall not be moved. Yes, sir. I'm going through, Sharonda. I'm going through. Hey, I don't care what the rest of the world decides to do. I made up my mind. And I ain't going to turn around. Yes, don't, don't. I'm walking with my Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Walking with my Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Walking with my Jesus and I, I got to go through. Yes, sir. Baby, I'm not coming down, Darius. I'm staying on the wall. You hear me? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all like and share. It's a good day already. It's a good day already. You hear me? When I opened my eyes, it was a good day. <laughs> when I turned those lights on and they came on, when I had warm hot water to take a shit, it's a good day already. When I went into my kitchen and there was food, it, it, it's a good day already. Come on, somebody. And I dare not <laughs> give God praise. Sherman Bufkin, God has been good to me. You hear me? When I look back over my life and I see all of the things God done for me. <laughs> I, 
Yes, sir. I am still here. It's by the grace of God. Yeah, I, I am still here. It's by the grace of God. Yes, sir. Listen, let me, um, I want to talk briefly about the purpose of affliction. Lord, these braces is giving me a run for my money this morning. They just get dry. And, but I'm grateful that the end result is going to be some straight tea. Come on, somebody. I believe I can hang on in there because the end result is going to be some straight tea. <laughs> My God. But listen, I want to talk about the purpose of affliction. And there's four things, four reasons that I found in the Bible. And I'm pretty sure there may be a more, but there's four reasons. James chapter one, two, and three. A familiar uh, passage of scripture. James said to count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Mm -hmm. Count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Sometimes it seems like it's one thing after another. It, uh, you know, you've heard the phrase, uh, uh, when it rains, it pours. Count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Now, let's, let's break it down. So, there's four reasons that I want to talk about. Reasons that God allows affliction in, into each and every one of our lives. There is no way around it. There is no way around it. You will be afflicted in this life. And affliction is great pain or sorrow. So in this, in this passage of scripture, count it out, Job, when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith, one of the reasons for affliction is to test your faith. You don't know what you're made of until you go through afflictions. Good morning. Kim, good morning, Tracy. You don't know what you are made of until you go through affliction. That shows who you are. That shows your character. That shows the foundation of who you are. Your faith is tested. That's a reason for affliction is to test your faith. Okay, so Canada Joe, you follow various tribes, knowing that the testing of your faith produces what? Patience. Number two is patience. It, it teaches us to be patient when we go through affliction. It teaches us how to wait on God to bring us out. It teaches us, it produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete. It produces perfection. And it's not talking about uh, you know, not sinning and, and I live a, a perfect life and I, no, no, it's talking about being perfect in endurance and perseverance. The more that you go through, you are able to endure and persevere. And then the fourth one that I want to talk about, um, David said, it was good that I was afflicted, that I may learn your statues. When we go through affliction, it teaches us how to be obedient. Come on, somebody. It teaches us obedience. The Bible says that Christ, uh, he learned obedience through the things that he suffered. When, when I was little and my mama would, you know, tap that butt, then that taught me to be obedient and not do that again. So when we go through things, it, te it, it helps us to be obedient. So you've got, it, it, it tests your faith. It uh, produces patience. It produces perfection when it comes to perseverance and endurance. And then it teaches us how to be obedient. So he gives us a way to go through affliction. He says, count it all joy. And I know that's hard, but, but that's why he allows us to go through things so that we can learn how to go through. Some, some of us need, just need to learn how to go. We don't know how to go through, Rhonda. Everything that we go through, it takes us for a loop. 
We want to give up. We want to throw in the towel. But he, he wants us to know how to go through effectively. I, I got to I got to I got to teach on that because that, you know, because we we don't. We don't we don't know how to go through. We think that things that we go through, we're not supposed to go through anything. We're not supposed to suffer. But can I help you? <laughs> Let me get out of here. Listen, y'all, it's eight o'clock. I love y'all so much. Be encouraged. Learn how to go through that God will be glorified in your life. Ask God to give you the grace and the strength and to 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 give you understanding as to how to go through your test and your trials and come out. And I want you to look at the, the end result, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. I'm on the end right there. I love y'all so much. Go about your way because it's a good day already. I love y'all. <laughs>